Welcome to One Footed Phoenix, my Phoenix family. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys all about the benefits of having a prosthetic leg, and I hope you'll join me along in the journey. Today's video is sponsored by our Good Vibes activity book, and my mom and I have been working on putting together this activity book for about two months now, and we finally have it ready to release. And I would super appreciate it if you would go check it out. It has all sorts of great activities in it to help with pain management as well as stress management. And even though pain management is not in the title of this book, I have tested some of these activities and I have found them to be helpful for my own pain management. And so I hope that for you as well, this activity book will be helpful for your pain management. If you would like to check out our activity book, click the link down in the description or go to tricrustpublishing.com. Both will get you to the same place. While the title of the book says that it's for women, it can also be used by men. So don't shy away if you're a guy and you want to try out our activity book. So let's get back into talking about today's topic of prosthetic legs and the benefits of having a prosthetic leg, like this one. My prosthetic leg lets me walk around and it also is super important for me to be able to do things independently. Being able to do things independently, such as drive and go to physical therapy appointments, has made a huge difference in my quality of life and I wouldn't have been able to do these things independently if I had chosen to keep my leg and not have the amputation. Prosthetic legs also make good water bottle holders. Just like that, you stick your water bottle in there and you can even open it up and take a sip if you want and freak out all your friends. <laughs> That looks so weird on camera. <laughs> and you know what? I'm leaving that in the video too. Because <laughs> everybody needs a good laugh now and then. Being able to wear my prosthetic leg for even just a few minutes a day gives my back and hips a break from being in my handy dandy wheelchair here and giving my back and hips a break from being in the wheelchair is healthy because it helps me to build those muscles up again to be able to walk. People often stop me and ask questions, especially when my leg is showing and you can see my prosthetic underneath my pant leg. And when you can see my prosthetic, it gives me a greater opportunity to be a disability activist and to have that moment to teach someone or to answer someone's questions about being an amputee. And this is one of the things I actually love most about wearing my prosthetic leg is that I get asked a lot more questions, but at the same time, it also allows me to answer those questions and to normalize being a disabled person in our society today. Another great thing about having a prosthetic leg is that I can step in a puddle and my foot won't be wet for hours. At least I won't be able to feel that it's wet for hours. <sighs> a benefit to having this particular prosthetic leg is that people can always hear me coming because of the unique clicking sound this prosthetic leg makes. And the reason that it makes this clicking sound is because of this bracer right here that is there to help support my leg and give me more support because my leg was so sensitive after having a CRPS amputation. If you don't know what CRPS is, you can check out the link down in the description down below that will tell you more. But anyway, this leg makes a very unique clicking sound. Every time you walk. So I can't ever quite sneak up on people but I do think that it's a unique benefit to having a prosthetic leg because hearing that beautiful clicking sound means that I'm able to have my independence back. My leg let me sing in the church choir, which is something that I haven't done in so long. And so it was so nice to be able to sing in the church choir. And the reason I haven't sung in the church choir for so long mainly is because there's stairs trying to get up to the stand to where the choir sits. 
and so I wouldn't have been able to sing with my church choir if it hadn't been for having a prosthetic leg because now I can get up those steps very easily and the only other way to get up those steps would have been on crutches. So, and I wouldn't have been able to sing with the choir because I wouldn't be able to stand for that long and now that I have my prosthetic, I can stand with the choir to sing. My leg does let me get outside a little easier and it's nice because it lets me get outside a little easier to do some of my favorite things like looking for birds, doing chalk art, and enjoying the sunshine. Sometimes wearing my leg even allows me to do dishes and help out around the house, which is something I haven't been able to do for a really long time since like long before the amputation because I had chronic pain. So being in a bit less pain now and wearing my leg allows me to do housework and things around the house that I couldn't do before my amputation. Getting the right fit with your prosthetic is super important for it feeling better and you being able to wear it for the longest amount of time. Right now I'm working on getting into this sock which is a one ply compression sock and we're working on getting into this sock so that hopefully soon I can have my second prosthetic leg made and not have that huge piece that's on the top of my leg, but just have it be down below as a normal below the knee prosthetic. And the advantages to having a leg that would be a normal below the knee prosthetic would be that I would be able to get in and out of my leg much easier so I'd be able to just pop it off anytime I go to church and I'd be able to pop it off anytime I'm just sitting somewhere. And so that will make, in the long run, the prosthetic much more comfortable and much more practical to use. Thank you so much for coming and watching this video all the way through. It means a lot to me as the creator that you're taking the time out of your busy day and your busy schedules to come and watch this channel. As we end here, I would ask that you please go check out our Good Vibes activity book and there'll be a link down in the description down below to check that out. If you would like to see another video all about using my prosthetic leg, click over here and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you, bye!